Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, let me introduce you to a company called Pale Blue. Now, let me just start off by saying, I am actually a big fan. About a year and a half ago, I got sick and tired of buying batteries and then throwing them out and buying batteries and trying to recycle them and buying batteries and throwing them out. So about a year and a half ago, I actually started searching for rechargeable batteries. And I don't know what it was about this brand, but I decided to take a chance. And let me tell you, I use them in my Roku remotes. I use them in my smart locks. I use them in my clocks. I even use them in my smoke detectors. So what I'm asking you to do is stop throwing away or trying to recycle batteries. Pale blue batteries can be recharged a thousand times. Let me say that again, 1,000 times. So why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, here we are. And we've got some of the pale blue collection and let me just tell you, after having such a good experience with their batteries, our team reached out to Pale Blue and we were able to get some of this product sent to us, okay? So obviously it's sponsored, but understand they have no say in how we do our reviews because it's more important that we're honest with you, all right? So I will tell you in the year and a half, I found the double A's and the triple A's that I was using to last just as long, if not longer than, you know, the batteries I would normally buy at a store and then throw out or try to recycle. And recycling batteries isn't as easy as you think. There used to be many places that would take recycled batteries and things. And then all of a sudden, when you go to drop stuff off, they're like, oh, we don't take that anymore. So what you see on this table here is one, They've got a new solar panel out. This is a small portable solar panel. They have two versions. I'll go over it later, okay? But I just wanted to let you know, this is a brand new product. They just started selling, all right? I think it's only available on their website. Now, I will be using our Amazon affiliate links for the other batteries because that's kind of one of the ways we make a living, to be honest with you. But we only make it by being honest. We would not recommend products, um, you know, at the end of the day that you're going to have a bad experience with. So I've had a personal experience with these batteries. But as you can see here, I've got the 9 volt. I've got the D batteries. I've got the C batteries here. I've got the uh, AA and I've got the AAA batteries. All right. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the technology. Um, at, the same, at the end of the day, they're just as easy to use but they are rechargeable and they do come with the cable, which is nice. So let's take a few minutes now and go over some important details about pale blue batteries. Now, one thing I like is their packaging is recyclable. This is cardboard and this is reusable as a case. So you'll reuse this as a case, but this is plastic and you can recycle that as well but I like that they really think about the environment. All right, so that's something that I like. Here's some information from the Pale Blue website. It's a Pale Blue versus Alkaline. Now this is based off AA battery pricing and 100 uses. So they're saying the Pale Blue cost per use is seven cents. Alkaline is a dollar. Pale Blue has a thousand charges. The alkaline has a single use. Uh, the pale blue has fast USB charging and the alkaline does not offer that. The pale blue has steady power being lithium ion and the alkaline has inconsistent voltage. And then they talk a little bit about packaging, the pale blue's minimal packaging 
and the Alkaline's wasteful packaging, but I'll tell you, I definitely had some fun with those screws. All right, so I'm going to start off with the AA batteries. And if you look in the upper right hand corner, um, I put some information up there. I'm not going to read all of that. But uh, you look at the milliamp hours, basically, obviously the cycle rating, right? A thousand plus cycles. So that's really important. They say that the uh, AA batteries take about an hour and a half to charge. Now let's talk about costs. So a four pack is $29.99. An 8-pack is $54.99, and a 12-pack is $79.99. Now, the connector that you get in the packaging is USB-A on one side and USB-C that goes right into the battery on the other side. Um, and these prices are as of October 2023. Let's take a look at the battery, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's charging. So here's the case. Crack it open after you take those two screws out. Boy, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> and you get four batteries, and you get one charger that actually has four USB Type-Cs. So you get the USB-A and the USB Type-C. And check this out. It's got a USB Type-C on each of the sides. And all you do is plug it in. All right. Just plug it in. There's no wrong way because USB Type-C goes in any way you want it to. All right. And then let's plug this in and show you how this lights up with the indicator. And look at that. As you can see, it'll stop charging when it's done. But you've got a pretty bright LED lighting up on the side of each of these batteries. And again, I've used these for a year and a half. I'll tell you something. The ones I bought a long time ago were USB uh, micro. They weren't USB-C. So it's nice to see that they put USB-C now on the other side. And as you can see, I'm using a normal basic iPhone brick charger. So it works fine. Again, it'll take about an hour and a half from empty to full. Pretty nice. Here's some information on the AAAs now. Again, a thousand cycles, which is great, huh? And some of the technical information in the upper right hand corner. They take about an hour to charge. Again, these are USB A to USB Type C. Four pack is $24.99, eight pack is $44.99, and a 12 pack is $64.99. We'll put a link in the description. Let's take a quick look at these. So here you go. Again, here are your triple A's, and we just took a look at the double A's, right? So as you could see, the double A, you know, the battery, the USB type C port is uh, slightly different, is a bigger battery. So again, all we do is plug these in, plug it into that basic iPhone charger, and again, all of them will light up and start charging. Pretty cool. All right, here are the C batteries, and the technical information is in the upper right hand corner. Again, they can be recharged a thousand times. They take about two hours to charge. The connectors are interesting. So you're going to have a choice of micro or USB Type C on the battery itself. And the other side of the cable will be USB Type A. So pricing. 2-pack, $29.99, 4-pack, $54.99, or a 6-pack for $79.99. All right, let's take a look. As you can see, you've got your case. Crack it open, a space for the cable. Again, this is going to support two with two USB Type-Cs. But it's interesting on the battery, right? If you look at the way they design it, if you just turn this cap here, it'll pop up. It'll give you a micro or a USB Type-C. And again, plug in the USB Type-C. Plug it into the Apple charger here. And it's actually got a light on the top. Just give me a moment, I'll get both these plugged in. And you can see 
how they line up. Pretty cool, huh? Rechargeable technology. Now we're on to the D batteries. Again, technical information is in the upper right hand corner. Again, you can charge these a thousand times. The D batteries will take about three and a half hours to charge. So just be aware, they are big batteries, right? Again, the battery has a USB micro or a USB type C uh, adapter on the battery. That's where you would plug your cable in. And on the opposite side is a USB type A. The two pack is $29.99. 4-pack, $54.99, and a 6-pack is $79.99. We'll put some links in the description. And lastly, you've got your D battery. And just like the C battery, right? It's got the micro, it's got the USB Type-C. Again, just take this, plug it in. This lights up on the top, actually, a little different than the uh, C battery. But pretty simple. Here's some information on the 9 volt. Again, the technical information will be in the upper right hand corner. These take about an hour to charge. They only come in a two pack for $24.99. And on the battery, you have uh, USB micro and USB C. Let's take a look at these. There's the case again. Crack it open. Let's take a look. Looks like a regular 9 volt battery, right? And on the bottom, you've got that uh, USB C and uh, USB micro, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, plug these in for a minute. Let's just see how they light up. Of course, we're going to use the included USB uh, C cable. And uh, oh, they've got a little red light on the bottom. All right. So I'm assuming that turns green when they're charged. And there are the 9-volt batteries. Now here's a pretty decent buy. you got to keep your eyes on the pricing, but they call this a home conversion kit. And it's uh, two, what is it, $199 currently. Uh, but if you total all these batteries up, you get 12 AA, 8 AAA, 4 9-volt, and 4 D batteries. And they should equal to about $235. So you do save about $35. Again, you always want to keep an eye on pricing. We'll put a link in the description, but this is a nice kit. One thing I wanted to share with you was I, I went out and got a battery storage case because I had batteries everywhere. And I said, how do I organize batteries? And this is like 27 bucks. We'll put a link in the description, but basically check this out. It gives you a meter if you have standard batteries. I've got all the charging uh, cables in here. I've got my button batteries in here. And as you can see, you know, my AA, my AAA, my 9 volt, everything with plenty of room. So for 27 bucks, it's made well. I've had this for a couple of years now. And I'll put a link in the description. It's nice to have. Another way to recharge your batteries on the go when you don't have an AC outlet or anything like that is using a power brick. I've had this Ramos uh, 30,000 milliamp battery pack for a while now. And I believe I did the review on this a year and a half to two years ago. I'll put an image up if you want to see what the uh, video image looks like. And I will put a link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. But I'll tell you, I'm pretty impressed. You know, this thing's got you know, USB-C, it's got uh, lightning, and it's got USB type A. So uh, check out the video, but definitely a nice thing to have if you need to uh, charge your phone or charge your batteries on the go. So here's some information on their new approach solar chargers, those little panels. And then we'll take a look at the approach two. So there are two types, they have an approach one, which is a seven watt and approach two, 
which is a 21 watt. The pricing is there. So the approach one is $79.99. The approach two is $149.99. Now they have grid cords for easy attachment to your backpacks, your tents, and other items. They say they are durable. Uh, they have a durable wear proof finish for the uh, rugged outdoors. They have dual USB-A ports and a utility storage pocket. So we'll take a look at that. I've got a little bit more uh, technical information for you. So on the approach one, um, the output voltage is five volts. The output current is 1.4 amps and the weight is 310 grams. On approach two, the output voltage is five volts. The output current is 4.2 amps and the weight is seven 90 grams. Let's take a look at the approach too. This is the approach packaging, but let me go ahead and open it up and we'll take a look at what's inside. So here is the approach too, right? Uh, 21 watt, 5 volt, 4.2 amps. Again, weighs uh, 790 grams. And this sells for $149. Look, it, it looks like it's made very well. Um, definitely, you know, not inexpensive. And uh, this is a new panel by Pale Blue. So let's take a look at it. We've got branding on this side. On the other side, we've got this pouch, right? They talked about. So you can put some stuff in the pouch, which is going to be helpful. And then you've got your two USB Type A. So you can plug in a USB Type A uh, plug. Uh, maybe you can charge your batteries. Maybe you can charge your phone, right, with the power of the sun. And these are the cords. Again, I just put these on, by the way. They come off and on real easy. Just, uh, you know, push this in and um, take it out, right? Not a problem. And as you open it up, you'll see that this has uh, three panels. Okay. So there is a nice introduction to uh, the pale blue panel. And let's take a look at the panel itself. Again, they've got some branding here. I don't know what coating they have on here. Uh, I want to find out. Maybe I'll reach out to them and I'll put a note on the screen right there. But um, yeah, you know, again, folds up really nice. Even You can even leave the uh, straps on, which is nice. So it's not big, and uh, at the same time, folds up really nice. So that is the approach to solar panel, solar charger. This is the video we did on the approach solar panels. It's a real quick video. If you want to see the testing we did, a real short test, we'll put the link in the description. This is what the image looks like. All right, we're almost over. I'm going to leave this with you, this battery protection and self-discharge note. I'll also leave you the warranty information if you want hit pause, but we're going to continue on with the video. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found our video helpful. You know, we definitely have experience with the AAA and the AA I'm definitely looking forward to using the D, the C, and the 9 volt. It'll be interesting to kind of not have to throw out my batteries. Uh, I really like reducing waste. And don't forget, we've got this cool battery organizer. We'll put the link in the description. But if you found this video helpful, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Also, follow us on social media right up here in the upper left hand corner and on the upper right hand corner check out our Tesla channel we're starting to put some accessory reviews up there and then we're going to soon start start to share our experience in going from a gas vehicle to a Tesla and if you want to subscribe to Tech Made Easy our channel well click on the round circle right there the Tech Made Easy circle and I'll leave a video for you on the right as well Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.